this is my clarinet box. I have all my clarinet accessories in here that aren't in my clarinet cases. For example, a box of reeds. I use V12s, although I found that there are a lot of crappy ones in these V12 packages. So I don't really like those right now. I have a cloth, cleaning cloth from like 6th grade or something whenever I bought a cleaning kit because every 6th grader buys a cleaning kit. I have a little baggie of pads in case one of mine comes off and I need to replace it. That one's stuck to the side. It probably has glue on. Okay. Um, here's just an old swab that I have. I have a lot of swabs actually. And I never use them. I don't even know why I still have them. This is the swab that I use for cleaning the bore of my buffet clarinet. I put bore oil in it. Let me see if I can. Yep. I use this for oil and it's by like I think that's a CG con I can't really read curse at that well and I just pour some well sort of like a squirt squeeze do whatever on this cloth and then I run it through my clarinet a couple good times because it uh, puts oil on the inside of your wooden clarinet which you need um I have uh, a couple years ago so I'm a senior right now. I didn't know my no names, even though um, I learned them in sixth grade. I just sat back there and never really paid attention. So I have flashcards teaching me my note names. I know my note names now, but I still I still have these. I have planet ratings in here from auditions and performances that I've done. I have a thank you card from my director because I love her a lot and her thank you cards are like really really long. I have my Allstate Pass thing. It has my name on it, but you can't see it now. But this is this is my my tag I wore for like a week. I have a pencil in here in case I just need to pop it in one of my cases and take it somewhere. I have mouthpiece covers which go on the back of a mouthpiece right here so whenever you bite onto your mouthpiece it doesn't you don't like engrave your teeth into your mouthpiece, which I did that with my art. I have, I know there's another one. I have key oil, crappy, crappy key oil. I just have two of those. And um, I've had this one since I was in middle school. So that's that's how much I've used since I was in sixth grade. Six year, six, sixth grade to senior year. That's, that's all I've needed. Um, Oh yeah, this is a, a concert ticket thing for cool thing. <laughs> Here's another clarinet swab. This one's actually pretty cool. It came with my buffet. Pretty big. And it's pretty nice too. You know, I really don't know why I don't use this one. I have a tie-dye one, but this one sort of feels cooler. I might actually switch those out. So I'm just going to set that over there. Here's another nasty old swab. These, these swabs are crappy. I don't like those swabs. Here's these mouthpiece cleaners that I talked to you guys about in a previous video. There's a hair. Here is cork grease, and I only have one in there for some reason. I thought I had a lot more, but I only have one. Here are some marching band liars that I just have in there. I think I got this out of a clarinet case one time or something. But yeah, I need those for marching band. I have toothpaste in here because um, whenever I bring home mouthpieces and stuff that are old and stuff, I clean them with toothpaste because it makes them taste better and I think it does a better job. Better than using chemicals. Here is, I, I keep reeds, they're like story things to me, but this is the reed that I used whenever I went to solo and ensemble and I made a distinguished plus. It was my first Distinguished Plus I ever made, and it was actually last year's solo, which I just got out of junior year, so it would have been sophomore year, but it was 2013. Um, I also have this uh, Rico read. You know, I really don't know why I have this in here. I don't know. <laughs> and then this read. 
Um, I guess this was this was the read I used whenever I auditioned for Region, and I got third chair in symphonic band, which was pretty great compared to me being 16th chair the year before. So that's what that is. And then I have a Sharpie because I've been writing on the read cases. Oh, this one isn't written. I've been writing on the read cases what I did with them and stuff. And then I have some miscellaneous mouthpieces that I've got. This one is a Selmer and it has an HS and a star and it's made in France. I found this under a TV cabinet in my band room and my director told me I could have it so I just kept it. And I used it on my video for a while because the mouse mouthpiece that came with my video was really crappy. So I used this. And here's two other mouthpieces. Um, this one went with my Artly. And this one is mm, it's just an oddball. And then I have two barrels. This is my buffet barrel that came with my buffet. And this is a barrel that I got from the band room. It's a wooden one and I have no clue what it is. But that's it.